are pending. Now there is no mirror, so I cannot stand up. <laughs> the bike is pretty well balanced here, right in the center. We're just trying to make it easy for you by. <laughs> <laughs> So um, this training today is slightly more advanced than what we do before. Okay, so there's a lot of clutch control work today that we're doing. We've got completely different uh, obstacles to do. Yeah. Uh, there's lots of bikes today, so it's important that the time that we keep to do this so that nobody gets cooked at the end of the day. It's going to be a hot day today, yesterday was. Yeah? Uh, how we do this is first, I mean all of you know your riding position and all right now, basic riding position. Yeah? Anybody has any doubts about if you've forgotten something from before, please ask me. Yeah? We'll do it like that. So if you have a doubt on the trail, no problem, you can stop and ask. Yeah, we've forgotten something from the box. That is this thing, yeah? uh, what I've done is I've asked them to take your foot peg rubbers off and your mirrors off. Mirrors because they break. Yeah, they're saving us some money here. Yeah? And the foot peg rubbers because it's slightly slushy. And you got rubber on the foot peg and your boot is on it, bit slush on it. And you don't want it to slip off. <coughs> yeah, so that the teeth and the metal bracket under that, that helps with the boot. You guys know all this. Yeah? Uh, Next thing is, he's dumping a tire pressure. We're going to 25 today because we're doing some rocks. Okay. Yeah, 25 is a safe um, uh, this thing to keep because you don't want to bend the rim. And those are big rocks. Yeah? Uh, now, after this briefing here, what we'll do is we'll adjust the handlebars also. And then we do a small exercise where we walk around the bike, holding it with our fingers. Just to show you what how the bike is well balanced when it's straight. Yeah, to give you an idea. So even when you're riding and you're coming to a stop, you realize you don't have to put your foot down immediately. Cool. This will help you figure that out. As long as the bike is straight, it will stay straight for some time. Till you do something to unbalance. Yeah? Uh, we'll do that, we'll adjust your handlebars. Why do we do that? Position. Yeah, the standing and riding position to improve it. So your wrists don't get hurt. Right? Right now, I think all the bikes are on the touring position. Which is when you sit and ride, this is comfortable. When you stand, your wrists start bending. And a lot of pressure goes here. Start sort of thing. Yeah, so if you move the bar up a little, that becomes straighter. Okay? So we'll do that. Uh, when you do this, you got to be careful that your levers also don't move down too much. Because if they do that when you're sitting down, in some sections, you have to stretch. It should never be a stretch for anything. Yeah? Um, the next thing I want to ask, does anybody want to work on their stand and riding position? Do you know how to stand on the bike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like me. No, 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 not what he does. That, that's next, uh, that's platinum level. <laughs> oh, you got the info. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he saw the video also. Yeah. Okay. YouTube so, red play button. <laughs> and the level is so, As you can see, can somebody hold the bike from here? Yeah? No? Oh, okay. he doesn't have mirrors. Huh? He doesn't have mirrors to hold. Oh, he don't have mirrors to hold. Okay, guys. Okay. Now there is no mirror, so I cannot stand up. <laughs> so, see his uh, chin. It's up. He's looking ahead. Yeah? His elbows folded out. Okay, why is that? Suspension, little bit of suspension lets you play with the bike. <laughs> Correct, exactly. Yeah. Uh, his core is tight. He played already. Huh? <laughs> He's holding the bike from his core. Okay, his knees are lightly touching the tank, but knees also bent. Can everybody see? Yeah. His knees also bent because that's also some more suspension. Right? His feet. Can you see his feet? Let's see if they're correct. I think so. Yeah. Okay. He's on the balls of his feet. Not on the curved part. 
okay now why that is is again because that also gives you a little bit of suspension plus you don't tend to accidentally kick the <coughs> gear lever or brake lever when you're doing something okay you got to be careful of one thing if your foot is long what's going to happen is your heel goes and touches that side stand next that thing right that helps you kick the side stand and the engine cuts off yeah so you got to be careful of that if that's happening you got a big foot the bike is like this you can move your foot forward and back okay so this is just to get a feel of what the see the bike is pretty well balanced here right in the center okay standing on uneven ground so might not but see that see that yeah and here i just need little finger to hold it so i can do yeah I'm going to yeah this plastic bit I'm very scared. Of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, right. You don't need much of a. You don't need much strength there. Money la panna bo oran jinte na. Yeah. Right. I want all of you guys to try this. Already. Walk around the bike once. You can use this bike if you drop it. It's Oh, in the bike, okay. Apo okay, wa. So what I'll do is first try and guess where the grip is. So I'm not going to go on the grass or the loose mud there. I'm going to make my start on a slope or difficult. So try and move the bike to where it's a sort of slide, sort of got some stones where the tire can find some grip. Yeah. And now, if I press the clutch, the bike's going to roll, right? Yeah, but on these bikes, to stop the bike, you need to press the clutch, right? So what I'm going to do is left foot down, right foot on the brake, on the foot brake. That will hold the bike, and I press the clutch, right? Make sure empty. I mean, I start the bike, turn MTC off because if MTC is on on this climb, it's going to stall again. Yeah. When I'm starting now, I'm not going to give full throttle and let go of the clutch. Like you would start on a road, even that much I won't do, because what's going to happen then is the rear wheel will just stand and spin. The bike will start going sideways, get difficult to control your climb up. Okay, so you are going to find the point where the clutch starts biting. Yeah, when the bike starts doing that, no, so I give a little bit of throttle, little bit. Yeah, slip the clutch out, not let it go. Slip it out so the bike, the tires trying to bite and find some traction. Once it starts moving a little, I let go of the clutch and throttle up. Okay, so it's a very slow. I'm, I'm sure you guys have done it at some point. I'm just breaking it down for you so you know exactly what you're doing, right? So let's go through it. And this is come on again. Right? This is the engine motor. Yeah? I'm going to sit on the bike for this because I want some weight on the rear wheel. If I stand, if I try and stand immediately, the bike is going to spin. Yeah. அதுக்கப்புறம் இந்த பக்கம் யாரும் ஏறவே கூடாது முடிச்சிடலாம் ரைட் அடுத்தது பாத்தீங்கன்னா 
அந்த போஸ்டில் ஒரு பைப் இருக்குல்ல அந்த பைப்பை பிடிச்சிக்கிட்டு ஆக்சிலேட்டர் கொடுக்காம ஸ்கிளச் கண்ட்ரோலில் அப்படியே ஒரு ரவுண்ட் அடிக்கணுங்க படிக்கிறார் பாருங்கள் நம்ம ட்ரைனர் So you enter from here, this is the first entry cone. We go in here, turning around here into that cone. This is just a marker cone. We're coming through these two are the important ones. Yeah? So don't go outside that. You can go up to the edge in the middle where that tire has gone. Right Come here, keep going, keep going. You're here, right? And now it's left. ஜம்பிஸ்ட் You need to come here, it's a clutch pop trick. You come here, yeah, you go up the ramp as you're going up throttle. Not whack open throttle, just enough to get the bike mm. to jump over. If you whack it open, what's going to happen is the back will skid and you'll hit the tire on the side and go off somewhere else. Or, like, you'll go out of control after you land. Right? So you need to jump across, get on the other side, aim up that. You don't need much power for that also, you just need a little bit of momentum. Yeah? On the other side, the drop is steep. Okay. Yeah? But again, it's all first gear. Write it down in first gear. It's no. all what we learnt in the morning. Yeah, okay. No jump. No, there's no jump off there. But right after that, we've done another tyre. We've done another tyre. So when you land on the thing, the bike is flat and immediately do this again. Okay. 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 Yeah the aim of this is to teach you when to use what mm. <laughs> Yeah when to pop the clutch when to give throttle when you need to let it roll down in this thing it's all it comes one after the other very quickly it makes it think I hope it makes it think <laughs> Yeah so I'll do it first obviously and show it to you be careful you don't need speed especially this is soft sand right MTC on MTC off okay. this is soft sand What's going to happen is front's going to start wobbling. What you need to make sure is when you're taking that jump, you need the bike to be straight. If you hit it at an angle, the bike's going to try and throw you off. Yeah? Same for that side. When you're going down, the bike's going to dig in and then come out. That's going to unsettle the bike, but you got to keep it straight before hitting the second one. Those are the key things. And you don't need speed for this. I'll show you when when I do this, you'll see the speed I'm doing. I'll come up here very slowly and then just bunny hop across it. Okay? Yeah? Okay. Good. Oh, oh. Super. Scooter. Silagi, doom. Simple matter. Simple matter. I'm going to jump on the air level. நீங்களா